Hello and welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today we are reading The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Franken uh, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, however you want to pronounce it. I am hosting a little giveaway for this book because I have two copies of this. For entering there's a raffle copter link down below what you need to do is count the amounts of times that i say the word um, a frankenstein in this video and enter your result in raffle copter and i believe i will draw two winners at a time um, look in the description down below it will tell you when the drawing will come to a close um, the Dark Descent of Elizabeth uh, Frankenstein, Frankenstein is a retelling, reimagination of the famous Mary Shelley's uh, Frankenstein, but from the view of a side character, Elizabeth. This book also came in this little box here, which is the Once Upon a Book Club box, which I love. They have such a great, um, like, different idea. Uh, so I ha this is shipping from the US. I believe it's around like $30 or something. Um, it's just a little bit expensive for me because of shipping. I think I pay around like 60 and this might be my last or my, I might get one more because I, it's just so expensive. But what we're getting in there, we're getting like four gifts um, in this beautiful wrapping and these gifts have page numbers on them and we're just supposed to open these up when we hit the page number and it will bring something out of the book alive which i find is an awesome idea for a book box and i love this um, idea um i, I think that there were a few where i was really disappointed with the quality and the type of items because i had no use for them um, especially this is usually like more of a novelty item from the book nothing you can really keep so it's more or less like more three items not really four um but it's a fun experience and it always makes me want to read the books and uh, get through the books a little bit quicker um it also comes with a postcard like it's not a postcard it's like an art print uh with a quote from the book that's always beautifully done like the design of everything is so beautiful and then in this little flyer it's um it has dates on social media it, a date with uh, a, an author meet and greet and some discussion dates on social media uh, where you could discuss the book so it really is a sort of a book club and this also came with a signed book plate which is awesome so let's dive into the book and we speak again on page 81 So we are here. All right, let's find the gift number 81. So the book is talking about a trunk that was made of wood painted with a thick black tar to seal it. I tried to lift the lid, but it was locked. Crouching, I found a heavy padlock securing it. With trembling fingers, I pulled out the key I had found beneath it, Victor. Not sure with what this is supposed to be. This does not look like a key. It seems to be a pouch of sorts. And here's the key. I don't know how this key is supposed to go with this. So this is like Oh, it smells chemical. Wow, this does not smell good. This smells really, really awful. Like plastic or in glue. This is a really cute idea. I'm not sure about the 
quality but yeah I guess that's a cute it's a cute little pouch and it comes with the key that I have no idea what like this is such a novelty item what should I do with a key like this anybody want a key no so we have Elizabeth Frankenstein's key and her like pouch what do you think of her pouch would you like an item like this so so far I have a little bit of a hard time getting into the story because that is really not my typical genre that I read and I'm just having a hard time getting into it um, the way this is written is really interestingly pretty much every chapter we have a part playing in the now where um, Elizabeth uh, Frankenstein is going after Victor um, who has disappeared for a year and then we have um, these blips from the past explaining where they're coming from explaining things that happened to Elizabeth in the past so the way this is written is really interesting I am quite intrigued by the character of Elizabeth she seems to be extremely cunning and calculative and manipulating to getting the things that she wants and by that saying the things that she wants seem to be very basic human needs to be to be frank she has come to live with the frankensteins and she really doesn't want to go back on the street and have no money no nothing so um it, it's understandably that she wants to make her life at least somewhat decent um but she seems very, very conniving and I'm quite intrigued by that character. So let's see where this goes. We are at page 134 and the next item is coming up. And the last sentence above the post-it says, I opened the letter. So it's not going to be a big surprise that, hey, we have the letter. Um, addressed to Elizabeth Frank uh, La Wenzer at the Frankenstein Manor and yeah let's open it up I'm expecting just some novelty in here maybe the letter itself it's a piece of paper and there it is Dear Elizabeth, I have spoken with Victor and there's the letter from Henry. And it's exactly what's written in the book, so this is not an imagination by the um, book box company. This is one to one from the book and this is just like a cute little thing that they designed to make the book seem more real. I think this is a cute idea. I don't really care too much about these things, but that's just me. The next item we have on page 156 and I'm way more excited about this because this screams jewelry. And then we have another nice little package at 245. So I am enjoying this book more and more. Um, it still isn't one of my favorites yet because it is extremely character driven. So if you are a person who loves character driven books, um, this could be a really good contender. I am more of a plot driven person, so I need something to happen. Um, although I do love the characters in this book because they are so twisted and like different. And I haven't read a lot of books where we have really like these straightforward cunning and weird people so this is pretty cool um we're on page 156 and here's the gift to it um it says open the gift it just says my necklace and i already said i'm expecting jewelry in here so let's open it up there you go it says page 156 and that's what we got interesting so there's a piece of paper in here that makes it to elizabeth frankenstein's necklace let's take this necklace out so the necklace itself is cheap like a cheap metal i'm afraid that this kind of um, metal will stain my um, skin so i'm not going to wear it let's take it off because we're not 
going to use it like that anyways and it's already a lot more pretty like why would the necklace have a sticker saying Frankenstein on it looking like a book so this is quite pretty opening it up there's a picture of like the mom or whatever um, as you can see it's this is a cute little thing I will not be using it because um, I don't know if you can see how like already dark and stained this looks I'm pretty sure this will stain my skin I will not be wearing it but it is a cute little thing We are on page 245, so I'm almost done with this book. Um, this is a really quick read that you can uh, read like on a nice winter day. It still is very, very character driven. I haven't read the original. I know like basically the story, but I haven't read it. So I don't know how much of this is true to the original Frankenstein and how much of this is reimagined. But it feels like a lot of it is nodding and leaning towards the original, um, which is kind of awesome. Um, it's still not my kind of story overall. So I think it's beautifully written. It's like perfect in the way it is for people who like this kind of story um now we're on page 245 the last gift is here and it just um said um reach inside and withdraw a tiny gold filigreed book of scripture that my uncle always kept the pages that he loved had dissolved in the water leaving only the empty shell of it and this is the gift that goes along with it. And um, yeah, I'm guessing this will be a box that looks like a book or something. And there we go. This is completely similar to this style, isn't it? Look at this. Completely similar. All right, so this is the little box empty shell of the book book shaped jewelry box so this is a jewelry box where um, I don't know if you can see it but there's like steps where you can put your ring in here and I don't know how this exactly works but probably for a necklace this is quite the nice idea um, so yeah this is it for the gift we have um, uh, the necklace, this pouch, and this little jewelry box. What do you think? Do you like these gifts? All right. Let's read the last, I think, 35 pages. Yeah, 35 pages. And then we're done. 346 minutes later. So I am done with the dark descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein and I have to say um, I do enjoy Kirsten White's writing and I like how the story was told overall but to be honest I'm not a complete fan of this book. Um, I was a little bit disappointed in the character development of Elizabeth. Um, she just... I was waiting for the dark descent and she was i felt like she was a lot more twisted in the beginning and she just got more and more boring um and less interest yeah well less interesting um i did like um the two other female characters that we're meeting in here they give an interesting like flavor to the story i would have liked to get to know them a little bit better but overall what really nothing happened it was just so boring um i'm a very plot driven reader and for me this just wasn't enough i i just got bored with like the whole character stuff and for a character um driven book the character development just was going into the wrong direction i think um victor frankenstein was crafted beautifully so um I I didn't care about that character in a way that I didn't mind. 
um, but I wasn't like a fan of the character either. It, it, it was just there and fulfilling its purpose. Um, but he was right the way he was. It's kind of hard to explain. Well, overall, I gave it three out of five stars. I do believe there's a lot of people who would enjoy this, who are more um, character-driven readers and who like these kind of like historical or gothic um, books. It's just not my type at all at the moment, um, at least, and I'm not a character-driven reader, so this was just not for me, that's all. This is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing slash reading vlog. Um, remember, um, if I hope you counted how many times I said Frankenstein in this video. This was the last one to count and now go enter the rafflecopter for winning two i have two i'm gonna pick two winners um probably around two weeks after this video is going to be released the exact dates will be found in the description box down below i wish you good luck in participating in this little giveaway and that's it i hope to see you really soon again on my channel until then bye